That is a snapper. Here's a redfish, probably the most iconic saltwater fish in Texas. If you ask any fisherman in Texas that likes to fish out of a boat what they were drifting over, and almost every time that answer will be we were drifting over a reef. Oyster reefs in Texas are the only natural hard substrate we have in our bay systems. Any hard structure in the bay they can attach to as a larvae and then they start growing. What we're doing with Texas Parks and Wildlife is trying to restore reefs back to where they once used to be. They provide habitat, they provide food, and they provide refuge for 303 different species. They help clean our water. Each individual oyster can filter around 50 gallons of water per day. Oyster reefs are the building block of the ecosystem in Texas, and that's why this project is so important. The mission of CCA is to conserve marine natural resources and anglers access to them. You have to have healthy resources, but you also have to have resources that people can actually go and utilize. When you think about a project like an oyster reef conservation effort and creation effort like in Sabine, you're helping feed those communities. People come, they want to stay in the area, they want to participate in the outdoor activities, and then it's that catching that fish is what makes you come back and makes you care. And that passion is what is fed CCA for more than 40 years. The decline in, in oyster reefs over time is it's not something that's just happened in the last 10, 15, 20, you know, 30 years. Worldwide, oyster reefs, the abundance of them are down 80% of what they were in the early 1900s. There used to be a lot of mining in the oyster reefs for the shell. Then, you know, Hurricane Ike wiped out 50% of the oysters in the Galveston Bay system and probably closer to 80% within the East Galveston Bay system. It's just a continuous battle for these oyster reefs to survive. They take care of the water naturally. You have healthy oyster reefs, you have healthy ecosystems, you have healthy ecosystems, you have abundant fishing, you have more people visiting your town, filling up hotels, restaurants, spending their money, and it's just a, it's a chain that just keeps on going. We have to conserve these coastal resources that we have so that the future generations and present generations are afforded the opportunity to enjoy it as we have. There has to be a balance and we have to take care of that resource and you know there's no better way than the way CCA Texas does it. We've had amazing partners, corporate partners, and individual partners, and then partnering with Texas by Nature is that in a sense we're elevating it to a whole new level the outreach and education we've gotten from that is teaching other people the importance of oyster projects like this. Anybody can get involved, anybody can be a part of it, and everybody can make a difference.